everyone. Um, it is Melissa and I am here with a video to share the um, my completed December daily and um, took me a lot longer than I thought because um, I had um, the flu which I got on um, Christmas Eve and really didn't get rid of it until um, my birthday which was Thursday and I still kind of have a cough and whatever but I'm doing much 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 better that was like the worst thing ever so <clears throat> excuse me I'll probably be clearing my throat a lot but so anyway so here is what my cover looks like I'm gonna adjust the light a little bit maybe we can so anyway um and I did end up cutting the prongs off of the brad that I got from basic gray and added it to there. So I thought it was cute. It's got a little 25. It's cute. So, um, and then, like, I think I mentioned before, um, I was going to use these pockets to document my son's, we had like a, you know, parent decorate the gingerbread house, which was on November 30th, but it was Christmas related the day, kind of right before their, their break, so I wanted to include that. Um, and so, um, I think I've showed you everything up until maybe the last day I did was the 14th. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the 14th, <clears throat> which was here. Okay. So I did another snowflake. And, um, if you remember, I told you I was kind of using the, um, Nicole McGuirk kind of concept as far as labeling the days, um, of the month and so on and so forth. I tried to keep it as close as possible, but of course I altered it, you know. So, and then, um, these are my cute little kitties. This is before we left for our, um, road trip to, um, Chicago. We're from Chicago, so we went to there, um, to do our family Christmas like we do every year. And then this was a background. I just put some glitter paper in some of the holes. Let me move this. <clears throat> the light is nice, but on these glitter pages, like... And then this is a fun, um... You know, I just altered sizes and things that were gonna work with the photos I had. So this one I wanted to do, like, a photo collage, and I actually ended up using... and I've actually used it a lot, actually. I went and ordered another, um... I placed another, another order and got the Always die from Simon Says Stamp to go with this Absolutely in the stamp set, and there's actually another one that has the word you just came out recently um I'm gonna get that too so um this happy is from Carrie Bradford and um, all these numbers um snowflakes and things all Carrie Bradford um so so anyway so yeah I did that and then this one is a fun pocket it's got the December 16th here I just used a circle stamp and I've got my journaling behind this ticket here and we went to see um Christmas Carol at the local theater by us and then my son has his little they have a little mascot for class and it he brought it home so um so yeah so this is just a pocket and then um, I used a October afternoon sticker that says from last year maybe the year before it's old that says only and then there was a space there and then so I used the basic gray bread and put it's got a number nine on it days till Christmas so um and 17 and then um for a fun project, I made my daughter some American Girl. I bought a pattern on eBay. And it had like a robe and things you could add to it. But I was just going to start simple with the sleeping bag because sewing is not my God-given talent. Let's put it that way. So um, they turned out super cute. I was really happy with them. The only thing I didn't incorporate is the zipper because that was just way too intimidating. So, um, But yeah, I had this really great ribbon. Um, worked perfect. Um, and I also want to mention before, because I, I got to this... I can see this page. Um, one of the other people that inspired me um, a lot on the pages and um, ideas and things with this album um, is um, Shannon Tidwell. She's a garden girl over at Two Bees. She did a um, December Daily, and um, yeah, so I just love that idea. But this is Serena. She's getting ready to have some orthodontic work done, and so um, you know, I used my Tim Holtz tab thing almost throughout the whole entire book because I'm a tab fanatic and you'll never ever 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 see me have a tab with uh, 
nothing on it. <laughs> it's like, I just love it. So anyway, so Shannon Tidwell did a page. And she, my kids and I, we pick out, not so much from Santa, but we pick out every year a fresh roll of wrapping paper to give to, um, you know, all of the people that we're giving gifts to. And um, this happened to be from Costco, and it was fun. They loved it because it had, like, um, it was reversible, so you could do this red or this green. It was fun. Um, but Shannon Tidwell did a page where she did kind of the same concept, and I just uh, loved it. And I actually just put this in a page protector and then cut a small little X in the inside just to put my have my bow sticking out because it's just fun to have all that texture and you know um, and then I took an Instagram photo of um, or pick FX one of the two of my I wrapped this whole day um, after I took my daughter back to school from the, her orthodontic appointment I came home and wrapped 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 wrapped, wrapped. so um, this happens to be <laughs> and I know I'm just out of the loop but um, Carrie Bradford has a, one of her kits includes like an old style Polaroid. And so I had just taken some photo pocket booth pictures of me and my kids and I printed them and just slid it in there with the 19. This is, um, from the Silhouette Studio. And, um, it was like most, this book mostly follows, like if you've seen any other videos, we do the advent calendar. So I usually just write what the advent calendar says. So, you know, or the 20th. And, um, this was the Thursday right before their break. And, um, so I got some bling on here. And I didn't put anything on this tab because it's got a photo, like, a picture. I didn't want to cover up the flames and things. But, again, the advent calendar, we do scavenger hunt for a movie. And then it was my daughter's dance recital, so that's fun. Um, and then I did December 21 on the side here. And, you know, this was the kids' party. It was... <laughs> game night and another scavenger hunt. They each get a video during our scavenger hunt advent. So, um, so that's fun. And then this is a Carrie Bradford. Um, I have to tell you that this is the first time I've ever cut one of these, um, uh, subway arts. And, um, I don't know. My machine didn't like it all that much. I even used pattern paper because sometimes I find intricate details get cut better with pattern paper, but I, I don't know. Could have been the size I was cutting it at too small, but I ended up, these stars were an afterthought because wherever I have a star pretty much is where my paper ripped in my cameo. I don't, I'm not sure why. I probably had something to do with the settings, but uh, anyway, this is a Carrie Bradford. Um, this was a free. So, and I only replaced, like, I didn't even bother going into tiny little, um, you know, where the D and things are. I only did, like, uh, 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 I would say, like, this is my smallest size, where I added, like, the O where it's supposed to be instead of leaving it out. So, um, but, and then this was from, this is a stamp from Allie Edwards, and I actually purchased, um, online those, um, what are they called again? Um, they're like those ink tents, um, ink pencils and so I used them to color this in on just some patterned paper after I stamped it with stays on. Mm, uh, so the 23rd would have been a Sunday and um, typically what happens um, here is that we I buy shoes for my kids the first of school and then on break I buy them a fresh pair. Um, they still have the pair that they leave at school but then they get a fresh pair and um, this time around my son does not know how to tie his shoes, so this time around, my instead of Velcro, we got him those speed laces, and he thinks he is a hot tamale with them. It's pretty funny. So, um, so that's what we did on Sunday. We went shoe shopping, which <laughs> shouldn't take all day, but it did. So, and then here is Christmas Eve, and we made cookies for Santa. And um, I don't know about you guys, but on a lot of my this happens to be from um, I want to say this is an Aspen Frost. Um, you know, a little flare thing, but I don't like all the bulk that they put. I tear all of the pop dot off of there because it's just too much. Um, I mean, they really, oosh. so anyway, um, I tear all that garbage off and just put a glue dot behind it because I, it's just, it's too thick. So, and then here's a bread that says 24 and just some like those enamel dots. That's cute. So, these are all just photo collages I just put down on white paper. I don't have that, you know, fancy photo program where you can just 
click and drag, but that's fine. Um, I cut this again. This is a Carrie Bradford and another one of those things that I took the dimension off of, the, the flare bed. This is my husband, you know, obviously reading to my kids the night before Christmas, so it's a story we read, of course, every Christmas Eve, so uh, my book is extremely full, so, um, and then here's the 25th. This is, um, I'm so psyched. This is an old sticker that I had forever, ever, like five years. Finally used it, so I'm pretty happy with that. And then I really to keep it really simple. I mean, I could have gone nuts with photos, um, but do we really need a photo of every single gift they open? Like, that's how many pictures I take. Like, every time they open a gift, I take a picture. But anyway, regardless, so I just added a couple, um, and then the back, you know, this is like, uh, we always have my... <laughs> husband's family, this, we love these guys, they come over for, my husband makes a, a, you know, a really nice dinner, and they come over, and this year we made, um, well, I made whooping pies, and they were delish, so, um, and then, um, as an afterthought, I, <coughs> excuse me, I added this card that says, you know, a couple of things I wanted to mention was that on, you know, Christmas Eve, I got, you know, a fever, and then turned into the flu, and then, and the day after Christmas, my husband had kidney stone surgery, and it was just a pretty big mess um, all around, let's put it that way. And um, so and so my thoughts on this project are not that I don't like it, because I'll probably do another one for 2013, but um, like I mentioned before, I will not be doing Project Life. My kids were very, um, they are pretty patient, but they were really, you know... Um, annoyed with me so um you know I'm pretty annoying as it is with you know being a scrapbooker with taking photos but this was over the top for them so um I'll give them a year to recover but um it's got some nice bulk more than I kind of wanted but that's okay because I wanted it to be more playful than anything else with all the pockets and tags and things so so yeah let me know what you think um I love it and um I think it's just wonderful. My kids love it. And so, yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.